What's going on guys? I'm Prioxis and I'm back with another video. And in this one here, I'm going to be teaching you guys one tip to instantly improve your game in Undisputed. Now this is something that I have been tested for a little bit and it's actually been giving me a great amount of success. And that is stepping off the center line. If you know anything about striking, you know foot placement matters, that sets up a lot of strikes. In Undisputed, I've realized that it isn't the fact that tracking is an issue, it's more so where your foot placement is and you're not setting up your shots. I And I, and I know some of you guys are going to be like, no, it's BS. But watch this video right here against my opponent. It's not a very long video. This isn't one of those 27-minute long fights. My opponent actually rage quit. And you're going to witness me actually being able to land shots and the reasoning on why my opponent lands shots and why I land shots and why shots are missing this fight by simply stepping off the center line. All right? But with that being said, you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And if this is helpful for you, be sure to hit the sub button, hit the like button, and turn on those notifications, okay? And also, pay close attention, implement this into your game, bro. I'm telling you this right now. You don't have to use Sugar Ray Robinson every match to win, bro. You can use other guys, too. Thank you. Enjoy the video. All right, so here we go. We're going against a Terrence Crawford. This dude is currently ranked goal three. He's 13 and 10. You guys do see my record, 215. I don't have the best record, but... I don't really take ranked and try to go in and and this is not me making an excuse, but I don't try to rank this an experience for me. It's a learning process for me. I'm not going in trying to figure out the best way to win. I'm going out trying to figure out the game. You know? A lot a lot of there's gonna be a lot of ways to win early with playing a certain way. But how do I actually become a better player? And that's what I use ranked for. And I am on a second account here. But here we go. Here we go. We're going to get to Terrence Bud Crawford, which is obviously a better fighter than Josh Taylor in Undisputed. And we're going to try to stay off the center line and actually look to line up our own shots. And you guys will notice me doing this. And once you start doing it, you'll be like, okay, wow. And you can even stay off the center line to set up shots against your opponent. So we're both lined up here. Okay. And once I feel like he's coming forward and going to throw something, I'm going to step off the center line. Whether that's stepping laterally, stepping uh, up or down. Now, stepping off the center line technically wouldn't be stepping off if you walk backwards because you're still on that same uh, that same axis. But see here, I'm going to walk forward. And I can even do something like this. You can bait people, right? You can walk forward, step off the center line. And you see how I landed that counter cross right there? Stuff like that. That you don't see unless you actually pay attention. You know, a lot of people are used to just consistently moving. Right? Instead of me just consistently backing up, I'm circling. So I circle out here. Right? Now line him up with the cross. And he walks back into the cross again. Hit the jab. And I'm just lining him up. Now both of those shots get blocked. He let's land that strike right there. Now it look like he's trying to line me up. Now you see how I'm consistently staying off the center line? Right? Hit him with a cross there. But I'm never I'm never sitting still for him to, to just line up a free shot. I'm gonna be moving consistently. And I'm not saying moving like all the time. I don't stop moving the whole fight. But what I'm saying is when I feel as if I'm in danger, I'm gonna circle out. Right? Be back up here. And this is just a boxing thing. There we go. And I'm able to, now, I stay, see how I stayed on the center line there and he was able to land that shot? That's what I don't want to do. Boom, counter left hook. I mean, I'm sorry, right hook because he's softball. Okay, the circle out. And you can even step off like this with your jab. We land the counters there. Nice. Now, right there that at the end of that round, you do notice how I stay on the center line. And he was able to land something. But for the most part, if, when I step off, that opens up opportunities. And it's angles. Boxing is a lot of angles. Fighting, period, is a lot of angles. And you notice that I'm able to utilize angles against my opponent here and set up counter shots. So I don't, you don't always have to move your head and do these you don't have to always do that. Just simply stepping off. Boom. Right there. Counter shot. Now, I'm not going to let him line me up. I don't have to throw consistently. I throw when I feel like I need to. Okay. We circle out. We can hold our ground. 
We don't have to give him up free space. We set, step backwards there and land a counter. Also, you can time your opponent. If they're, if they're consistently walking forward, that means they're on a straight line. Boom. You know, and just timing one jab. One jab. You land your jab and he lands nothing, well, you timed him. Boom. I land my cross there. I circle out. And even if it, boom, he landed a nice body shot. Then we're going to back up, circle out. And this can be boring to some, but to others, this is great education, teaching them how to actually outbox their opponent because they're not going to always be able to outbox a Terrence Crawford. You know? Or oh, knock out a Terrence Crawford. I'm sorry. You, you're going to have to outbox him. So, again, we circle out. And this is something I'm I'm personally still experiencing, but uh, there we go. He steps forward with the three jabs, and then you see how we circle out here. You never want to be lined up for your opponent, especially when you're playing a big power puncher. There we go. We back up. But I can see you, and you'll start to play people. And again, this is a boxing game. We got 12 rounds, right? A lot of these guys get impatient. Left hook. I mean, right hook. Again. There we go. Left hand. Left hand. Boom. Counter, counter. And he just probably gave up the round because of that. But a lot of guys get impatient. And, and they don't see the big picture of the fight. I'm not worried about knocking you out. I'm worried about winning these rounds and winning a fight. Okay. Now we get off to the line. Boom. If he didn't move his head, it would have counted as a counter. But a lot of guys move on the same the same axis, moving forward. See how he's just moving forward? So I can set up a lot of shots against this guy. I can just walk forward here, wait till he comes forward. Okay. He's out of range. I did miss there, but you can see exactly what I'm doing, right? I'll circle a little bit. He's going to follow me. Boom. I missed that jab because he stepped off, which was a nice step off. Go to the body. Go to the body again. Nice. Nice. You see how he stepped off to, to uh, he went downwards. Okay. We're going to back up here. Hit him with the jab. Hit him with the cross. Hit him with the right hook. Left hook, I'm sorry. We're going to circle out again. Check left hook. Right hook. Oh, my goodness. I'm so used to playing southpaw that I always say it like that. I am sorry. Okay. And we can even work downstairs a little bit. But for the most part, nice jab again. Now, just me stepping off, a, set up a one-two. There you go. And you can even, like, come forward, faint. Step off the center line, land a counter. And this is something personally that I love. You know, it's something that I wanted in UFC games. Angles. An angle is not always getting beside your opponent. An angle is getting in a position that isn't on the center line. You see here, this man's just throwing. And that's going to be the end of round three. <laughs> now, we are currently winning two to one. Not 100% sure how he won the last round, but this guy just rage quit. Yeah. He just rage quit. Literally. Literally just made him rage quit. With just simple simple boxing. We didn't give him the war that he wanted. He would, he didn't like that, so we just quit the match. And again, I'm using Josh Taylor. One judge gave me all three. The others gave me two. Okay, and you can see here, I threw 122 shots and I landed 54 of them. And he threw 207 and landed 59. For the most part, most of mine were jabs. Most of his were jabs as well. But again, I did not give him that fight that he wanted. He wanted to, you know, be hella aggressive. Probably wanted to have a war. But I, that's not really what I'm going to do in this game. My name on here is Outbox, not Outward, all right? But, hey, I'm going to leave it at that, man. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was simple, straight to the point. Didn't need to do a whole 27-minute video of me fighting somebody. Just 
some simple but hey i'm gonna get up out of here i do hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did or you learned a thing or two be sure to hit that like button for your boy if you're new to the channel subscribe up turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my streams or my uploads and y'all stay up stay blessed and keep moving forward love you guys man see you